good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out wwe top 20 greatest heel promos some about a good heel promo that gets the crowd booing and gets the crowd just wanting to you know hate you and despise you and we know there's been some good heel promos in wwe so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support on the channel road to 70k you guys have been running it up and let's get right into it So over. I'm sharing something right now. <laughs> but in our dreams, we're superheroes. We dream of revenge. We dream of payback. That's when we go to the mirror and we look and then we remember that we are not superheroes. But everything, everything, everything is raw. I used to have this mean old teacher. He was so great. Everything she read in a book was true. What is it about you, deserve you better, man. that makes you think that you're so much better than me? Is it because your mommy and daddy paid for you to go to some fancy school? She said, Bray Wyatt, the first time that I ever looked inside of your eyes, I knew that you were evil. Teacher lady is rotting inside of some retirement home filled up with all of her life's regrets. Teacher lady, look at me right now. He was getting cheers. He was getting cheers. This was a good promo. I got the whole damn world in my hands. Look at that. He's a heel. He's a heel. And he had the crowd just like that. Oh, my God. You can't teach that. That is my payback. Right about one thing, you see. I am evil. Like John Cena that want to see everything die. Cena, 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 Cena. This fairy tale is going to end. At payback, I will be the last man standing. Oh, I promise no one will ever stand again. How about I finally introduce Love myself it. to all of those McMahon grandchildren? Yeah. Without oh. Rhodes and DiBiase, you're nothing less than an abject failure. <laughs> what do you say, sir? He, this was Randy in his who? Randy in his prime? That was Randy right there. The best version. The sadistic, didn't care. He would punch you into oblivion, Randy. In a real No matter what you want, no matter what the people want WWF title will find its way around my way. Rock, you're mine! Oh. The time <laughs> of dropping your elbow over. Your time, Rock, over! You have everything to lose, and I'm going to be the one who finds it. You wrestle like a coward. You wrestle like somebody who's go. afraid to get hit. Like, oh, okay, what's the song? This is this is a this was a good one. So this was some good work by the Miz. I ain't gonna lie to you. Off the WWE style, it would be that WWE is transformed in the last. The reason I wrestle the way I wrestle is because I can do it day in and day out. I am here each and every week. But you sit there and call me a coward? Let me tell you about a coward. Let me tell you about a guy who tells his WWE fans, the people that he loves, that he will be back. Okay, I'm the one that they, doesn't love if the they, fans. If they would let me come back, I would come back. Well, why don't you quit? Why don't you quit and go to the bingo halls with this your Indian okay, I think you need then, to huh? calm. No, that's not no, what this is. That's not what no, don't you walk away from me, Daniel. Don't you walk away. This I'm is the good. One reason making this the most relevant, prestigious title that WWE has, and I deserve okay. the respect. Okay. And I'm sick of all of you, my GM, sitting there criticizing me. This was good. The coward. Well, get out here. This was good. This was good, man. Oh, this can go in the ring. That's why it's always it was funny when CM Punk said you're a less famous Miz. Because Miz can, no, not on the ring. I meant to say he can he can go on the microphone. He's fantastic on the mic. On the ring, eh. But Mike, yes. Undertaker, use your supernatural powers. What the hell happened there? It just, it just hit his own. 
I remember watching this live. Edge went rogue. You look a little nervous, right? That the person you need to worry about isn't the Undertaker? You want to put me in a hell in this cell? This is good. With the Undertaker? This is the edge that needs to step in the hell in a cell with Woo! the Undertaker. Well, I'm going to pull the Undertaker down to hell with me. I'm going to take the entire family with me. I'm going to take you down to hell with me. This was so good. Off. This was, man, it's, <laughs> that promo. I remember watching it live. I was like, yo, this is good. This is great. I'm going to fight you at Armageddon, that's for sure. The champ is here. The champ is not here. The champ is right here. As a matter of fact, I think you might be a little bit scared of me because you know, look at me when I'm talking to you, boy. Mm. Because you are nothing but a liar and a hypocrite, just like all these sicko fans that you pander to each and every night. Jericho was good as a heel more too. more than a flash in the pan. And you know what you're going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. You are nothing more than a worm. You are nothing more than a coward. Look, AJ, he's... Uh, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. But I don't regret what I did to Samoa Joe. I'm going to rip his heart out and show it. Oh my God. <laughs> this is oh, Wendy. Wendy. It seems like we're making a lot of promises tonight, including one to come home and tuck in the kids. Daddy's already done night night. <laughs> Bro, Joe is so good. Why they didn't put the, the belt on him? This, oh, 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 oh my god, this is good. Absolutely disgraceful. Somebody like you oh. doesn't get to be a world champion. This promo. You're here to be an entertainer. That's what you do. You entertain people. Hell, you entertain me all the time. Do a little dance for me, Book. Bro. Correct me if I'm wrong here, Nate. But when Booker T was WCW champion, David Arquette and guys like... Some guy named Vince Russo was champ. Kind of weird, isn't it, Nate? Scott Steiner versus Booker T. What the hell would make Bischoff think of a match like that? You in the ring with a guy like Scott Steiner? You might be lucky to make it to WrestleMania. Oh my God, that uh, that this this whole feud will fucking forever piss me off because of how fucking stupid the booking decision in the end was. Ah, oh, the racial undertones. Damn, they're not undertones at that point. Racial overtones. All of that just for him to still fucking lose. Pisses me off to this day. Hey, what about London, right? The helicopter? We flew in. Fine, fine. You're right, Dean. We did have some pretty good times together. It wasn't all bad. You know what? The best time I ever had in a ring with you guys was when I took a chair and put it in your back. When I stole your moment, cashed in my Money in the Bank contract, my knee caved out from carrying this company on my back for the better part of last year. But one thing you haven't done is beat me. Good. Shut this up. segment. I'm talking. When I talk, you listen. Shut the hole in your face. Do you understand what I just told you? This is when Stone Cold Perfect. was a heel. You look like you just lost your best friend. It sounds to me like you said you don't want to be Stone Cold Steve Austin's friend. I knock your little cowboy hat off. I pull your this glasses is... off. Huh? Does that make you mad? Interview over. Sorry. Yep. Wait a minute. Hey, Wendy. Whoop. How you doing? Oh, well, this... Don't worry, Wendy. Daddy's coming home tonight. This is so good, man. I made you a promise. Daddy was coming home. It looks like he's not, but I'll be your new daddy. It was disrespectful, bro. It was so disrespectful. And this is the Randy I'm talking about. This is the Randy I'm talking about. Oh my God. This is so good, bro. Oh. Completely ridiculous on multiple.
multiple, multiple levels. And the fact that anybody even voted for John Cena to be Superstar of the Year is absolutely atrocious. <laughs> this is possibly the worst year of John Cena's life. He's the first superstar to cash in his money in the bank contract and, and lose. lose. Yeah. He's a loser like everybody in Philadelphia, and he's a loser like you. I never wanted to be you. I never wanted to be anybody but me, and I did it. 393 days! With one leg, I could still kick your ass. He was so good as a heel. That the WWE truly does suck. Oh. Here we go. Every time you walk in the back there, there's Patterson and Briscoe. This is, and this is our legendary promo that Vince gave him the okay. Said, say how you feel. This is what I mean about great promos. When you just let the talent just go. Just follow the, the the regulations for the network. Can't go overboard, but just go. Tell me how you feel. It comes off as real and believable. Oh, what a great idea you had, man. It's your children that hate your stinking guts, Vince. You did that, and you know it, you son of a This is you good. You ran all the competition to the ground, and you stole all their ideas, and you made yourself a billionaire out of it. How you stole everything that ECW represented. Stone Cold Steve Austin was drinking his first beer in ECW. ECW. You damn you. What you got is my ideas and you stole my life. Look at Taz. Look at Taz. For he was a man. And now he's a fat, little, obnoxious colored commentator. And not even a good one. Your <laughs> father built a wrestling company. And you... Luke, you had to have fight entertainment. This was good. Yeah. It's crazy seeing Dominic wrestling now. I'm getting old as hell. <laughs> to see Dominic wrestling. Oh, my God, with his dad. This was really good, too. This was really good. You stay away from my son. No one beats me at the end, Ray. Um, rest I in peace, Andy Dog. Lived a little boy named Dominic. Ray is not your father. I'm your father, Dominic. <laughs> I'm your puppy. Who wait in line? Oh man! You'll wait forever in line, like sheep all lined up. One like myself, very aggressively cut in the front of the line, and you'll say, "Wait a minute, that's not fair." Look at the person sitting next to you. Yeah, oh. look at him. Oh. Look at the person sitting in front of you. Go ahead, look at all of you, and you compare yourselves to the beautiful people here in this ring, and you say, "That's not fair." <laughs> <laughs> Money. <laughs> That's what it's all about. You can't afford what you really want. Guess what? That's not fair. <laughs> that life is not fair. Life sucks. And then you die. die. <laughs> Where the hell do any of you get off telling me I sold out? You think I hate ECW? I love that place. But ECW simply didn't love me back. Too much of my heart. Too much of my life. I found fame and fortune in WWE. I pulled a sock out of my pants and made Vince McMahon laugh. The doors of opportunity mm. open wide for McFoley. Tommy Dreamer can do everything I can and maybe with more passion. You look at Terry Funk and you see an old man you're not seeing the real Terry Funk. And when he picks up a weapon, he can use it like no man ever has. Tommy Dreamer, the only difference between me and you is I had the guts to go to WWE. No, you shut your mouth. Woo! This is good. Nothing compared to the horrors I will unleash on Dreamer and Funk. Have a nice day. This is good. What is the, what is the break on the rock? <laughs> Has come oh, back. To Tehran. To run his mouth. Hold on. <laughs> your candy actor. <laughs> I love it. That's where we live. We live in Toronto. Yay. Shut up. <laughs> you don't boo the rock. Look at you, fatty. The rock gets more pie in a week than you get in a lifetime. 
<laughs> but he was a heel and still so entertaining. Biggest thing to hit Canada because the maple leaves suck. Oh. <laughs> oh, just shut your mouth, take all your booze, stick them straight up your maple syrup sucking candy ass. <laughs> you're a conqueror oh, no. of the Undertaker's oh. streak. But ladies and gentlemen, we told you so! Eat, sleep, break the street. Greatest sh- manager in sports entertainment history. He got oh, nuclear heel heat for this. And put tears in the eyes of children. Let's go a little bit off page and shoot from the hip. Shall we? The pe- oh, I know you don't want to hear this story, do you? It's a little too real for you. Brock wasn't done until the streak was dead. John Bradshaw Layfield and those two other things that call themselves announcers <laughs> stood up, Superdome Hogan, not Silverdome, <laughs> and gave a standing ovation. The Undertaker was a loser! Rock respects nobody. He barely tolerates me. Sit here on the Monday after WrestleMania trying to get noticed on Worldwide TV. He killed this, bro. Hall of Famers. Beast incarnate. There's only one conqueror of the streak. Who's your daddy? And, uh, uh, this makes you sense. Know. This is number one. This makes sense right here. This. Oh my, he, the heat he was getting. I'm gonna kick Hulk Hogan right in the face. But what I am is the showstopper. You're not gonna get Brett because I screwed Brett. <laughs> and this was such a troll. <laughs> your hopes up just a little bit, didn't I? Bro, that was actually fantastic. His hit he, he knew that that he knew they were gonna boo him to oblivion and he he just hammed it up even more, man. So comment down below, let me know what's your favorite heel promo from this video. I'ma have to give it to Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. That promo about them beating the streak was fantastic. So I'm gonna definitely have to give it to him because you know he he really hammed it up even more, and it was fantastic. I loved it. But appreciate all love and support. Road to 70k. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.